It's my pleasure to be with you today. <clears throat> um, before we start, uh, I want to thank Dr. Ahmed Arfan, advanced student, for um, kind invitations in this lecture. Uh, today lectures will talk about rubber dam isolation and tricks. I hope it will be useful for you. Before we start, I want to introduce myself. My name is uh, Ahmed Saad. I um, graduated 2011 Alexandria University. First graduate study um, 2016 Anta University, maxillofacial diploma. And concerning aesthetic and cosmetic dentistry. So I am a um, lecturer in different national and international congress in Egypt. Also, I did a lot of courses nationally in Egypt and also internationally. This is my contact information, Facebook account and Instagram account, Gmail and WhatsApp also. This number have a Telegram account. Before I start, I want to thank Dr. Daniel Sanford Daniel for his great effort and development of rubber dam isolation 1864. Dr. Bernium Develop rubber dam when he want to do isolation to the tooth and work in dry field. This is Dr. Sanford Daniel from USA. And the chronology of the rubber dam ended by Dr. Young, which invented uh, rubber dam metal sheet, metal sorry, metal frame. In 1901. In this time, we have full set of rubber dam instruments and tools that we can use in our daily practice. For rubber dam isolation, our traditional technique depends on cotton isolations, which is not suitable for our clinical cases, especially in restorative. And uh, especially in adhesive, adhesive dentistry nowadays. So, I consider rubber dam as a stress free dentistry. I know rubber dam have a lot of advantage and also have some disadvantage we will talk about now. But I consider rubber dam as a stress free dentistry. Regarding the advantage of the rubber dam, it reduces microbiology contamination and prevents the swallowing of inhala or inhalations uh, for the irrigant. Because, uh, also, um, it is uh, um, increase the visibility uh, and also a reduction uh, of delays. But sometimes we have some disadvantage, which is also cost sometime no communication with patient but the most important disadvantage of the rubber dam is time yes time if you have uh, if you take a lot of time to apply your rubber dam to your patient uh, this is will cause loss of confidence between dentist and the patient especially for patients uh, whom visit a lot of dentists before, I will ask what what is this, this and I didn't see it before. So you must have the skills to apply this rubber dam in a comfortable way for the dentist and also for the patient. In this lecture, we will focus on clamp selection and rubber dam application technique to make it more easier and so rubber dam is a relax. Rubber dam is a stress-free density. Stress from, for short, saliva. And delays. And also needed talk from the patient. And finally, which is leakage. Sometimes we have leakage, especially in cases when we deal with class 5 or uh, subgingival uh, restorative cases we have a lot of leakage we can see by my, uh, our naked eyes 
but we can't we can't see using microscope. So what is the component of the rubber dam? To we'll start from sheet, punch, forceps, frame, floss, lubricant, uh, and dams. The next slide I will give you some tips and tricks to facilitate uh, buying these tools from the market. Sheets we have different colors of sheets. I always prefer silky blue one. The silky blue give me more contrast view, more comfortable my eyes. As we know, the rubber dam sheet has good uh, surface. The shiny one always toward the gingiva, and the dull one always toward your eyes. This is why when the light will be come to the rubber dam will reflect in, uh, in the in the shiny part will reflect to your eyes you will make it will make you annoyed but actually the dull surface will absorb this light we have also different flavors and also have different thickness from the rubber dam which is heavy and medium and thin for me in my clinic i always depend on heavy one we have different uh, size 5 by 5 inch and 6 by 6 inch. I prefer 6 by 6 in all my restorative cases. Uh, Sometimes I use 5 in uh, 5 by 5 one in single tooth isolations in anterior cases only and in pediatric endodontist. Sorry, in pediatric dentistry. But regarding sickness, I always use in my clinic the heavy one. Sometimes in very limited cases when I have very 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 tight contact between the teeth I prefer to use the medium one I also prefer to apply pre wedging step pre wedging step yes I insert wedge between um, this I will work to give me some separations and facilitate my rubber dam application we must take Take care about a um, brand of rubber dam which is called Nekitone. It's not suitable for long session root canal treatment. As we can see here, this, um, this is a damage due to the effect of sodium hypochloride of the, um, we, um, the, the irrigation we use in odontic treatment affected um, um, the rubber dam. So can easily um, heal. So nicotine, nicotine brand is suitable for restorative dentistry, but it's not uh, suitable for root canal treatment, especially the long session one, as we can see here. Punch, uh, punch mainly um, consists of um, rotating disc. And blagger. This rotating disc have different hole. Uh, this hole has different size according to the teeth, which is a molar, as we can see here, starting from anchor teeth, or anchor tooth, sorry, molar, bicuspid or uh, canines, anteriors, upper anteriors or lower anteriors. But it's not a standard and different from patient and patient. Actually, our, pa our patients not have the same uh, piece, the molar of me, not uh, in the same size with the molar view. So, the only one can judge about this holds the dentist who see the case and choose the suitable holes. Put on your mind, if you are in doubt between two holes, I will prefer to choose the smallest one or the smaller one why as the large one will give you leakage daggers of the punch must be pointed and sharp not blunt as it will give you this appearance during or this hole ill-defined hole 
also you must examine the rotating disc and its holes not to be need for not not to have any deformations that will affect the uh, you, your hole in rubber dip as we can hear yes, we have well defined hole but here we have ill defined hole which is easily to pierced during rubber dam application regarding forceps I have only one trick in this forceps. As we can see, this is great undercut to catch in the hole of the clamp. But actually, especially with um, true retractor clamps, this undercut will not be removed easily or not be removed easily from the holes. So we do some modification in these holes to just flatten this uh, hole. To facilitate the removal of the rubber of uh, forceps from the hole, especially for retractor clamps. So I do I did this in, um, to, to facilitate insertions of the clamp and removal of uh, forceps from the clamp after insert clamp after insertion. This is uh, before modifications and this is after modifications. Frames, we have metal frame. I always prefer the metal one. Nowadays we have foldable frame. We can use an anodontic treatment easily. So we can apply uh, or X-ray when we take an X-ray with master cone or uh, any X or any diagnostic X-ray during um, our dental procedures. This frame can be um, used to stretch the rubber dam so it can retract the tongue, the check, and the lips. Also, have plastic frame, but um, this personal prefer, I prefer the metal one. Metal floss we used to insert the rubber dam or the rubber dam sheet between the contact of the teeth and also we can use as a floss tie to retract the rubber dam sheet and also gingiva especially in, especially in uh, subgingival uh, cases also we use to fix the rubber dam the another side of the clamp as we can see here I started clamp on the seven sorry on the six and fix the rubber dam on the canine by floss the same here like my clamp on the six and fix the rubber dam in the another side by a floss toy also in anterior teeth I can use for more retraction lubricant and this is a very important trick during rubber dam applications, we use from the inner side, which will be the tiny surface, we can just apply some props of lubricant so it can facilitate rubber dam insertions and rubber dam pass passing through from the contact. But actually, we didn't use field based one. Yes, we used water, uh, sorry, we used. Um, another uh, water soluble uh, lubricant like uh, soap or and we used KY gel which is medical gel we can you um, buy from pharmacies clamps we have two three different clamps anteriors and molar and molar clamps this is a conventional clamp I, I think we only use this clamp in our dental schools but we must know we have different type of clamps but for we must know that the design of the clamp we have a clamped, uh, sorry a winged clamp and wingless clamp the winged clamp consists of anterior wing 
o central wing hole and this is we call jaw uh, jaw which will be serrated or smooth and also have bow or bracket. But in wingless one we have the same but without anterior wing and central wing what is the difference as we can see in this photo winged clamp anterior and central wing give me more space and more retraction especially in the buckle side and the lingual side of the rubber dam sheet so it will give you more accessibility and more visibility but actually the anterior wing will prevent you give you a room if you are working in this mesial side of the upper six I can't insert wedge or can't insert a band or even ring so as we can see in winged wingless clamp we have this space and room for applied or for application of wages and ring but the retraction of the sheet, especially in the buckle and lingual uh, or metal side, is not perfect as the winged clamp. So I can choose my clamp according to my situations. So we have active clamp and passive clamp. Active clamp, as we can see, is a jaw, 45 degree, but actually here, excuse me actually here straight what this uh, what this modification will help me actually is this will give uh, space for the, our clamp or more stability the clamp attach it from the most epical or cervical part so i can use especially in cases with class 5 also i, I can use um, in veneer cementations also, I can use when I have D plus two. So, but in passive one, for sure I can't. Really, I depend on two type of clamps: KSK clamps and Prinker clamp. KSK, Japanese company, and uh, Prinker, a Coltine company. We have different. And a lot of number of clamps for me I prefer this thing clamps this thing clamps help me our clinic to do isolation for all clinical situations 26 KSK W8A SK 12 and 13A SK B1 anchor W2A SK Number one SK for brim molars, 44 SK, or you can use before. Butterfly for anteriors, 138, 139 for molar or third molar. This is 212 double arched clamp used for as a tissue retractor. M. Let's see some clinical cases. And um, which clamp will be useful in this and different cases? First clamp is uh, 26 KSK. This is a universal clamp, so universal, so it can used in the upper, you can see, and also used in the lower. You can uh, you can use it right side and also in left side. So this is a joker clamp for me in our clinic. The wingless clamp. So if in a, if I have class two or a mesial or distal for tooth in action or for tooth which I will put the clamp on it, so I can use it easily. W8A. Yes, I prefer this clamp as we mentioned. It's a tissue retractor clamp, so it can retract the gingiva, especially for cases. When we have subgingival sub carriers or class 5 cases or veneers on anteriors, this clamp for posteriors, we have another one for anterior. So, W8A mainly I used when I have class 5, deep class 2 for molars, also 26 for molars. 
W8A also it is a universal clamp, so I can use it in upper and I can use it in lower. Sometime put in your mind that this is clamp have very large jaw. When I have small teeth, I will I need small jaw so I can use B1 anchor. Yes, the same action as W8A, but the difference only that the jaw B1 slightly smaller. As we can see here, small jaw. So if I have case which is extended class five with class two and the, the peaks, the jaw of the clamp will prevent my matrix application. So I prefer to use the jaw, small jaw B1. But if I have plus five only, this is smaller. And so I will use W8A KSK clamp. So it will give me more retraction as it have great uh, larger Winged molar clamps that you can use uh, if you have here, I have distal in the upper four, so I can use winged one. This wing, uh, wings away from uh, my uh, matrix applications and uh, away from my uh, wedge application. Also, in single tooth, uh, in some endodontic treatment or RCTs, one, two. Retractor clamp for anteriors. Retractor clamp for anterior. Double arched, so the staple. Also, I mainly use this tissue retractor clamp for remaining root anteriors, as we can see in this case. Also, I can use plus five single tooth isolation. This clamp can provide can help me in single tooth isolation in the anterior teeth especially when I need tissue retraction so I can do single tooth isolation for upper centers or laterals or canines also in the lower with subgingival plus 5 areas uh, subgingival plus 3 areas will help me a lot also in class 5 for premolars 2, 1, 2, K, K will help me also in premolars single or multiple isolation here I used in the, in the lower five so I can see all my margin clearly so I can put my restoration easily an anterior is single tooth okay B plus three with uh, plus five or anterior upper central okay Single, single arch 44 KSK or D4 13 is the same clamps. Single arch so it can apply multiple clamps in different pieces with, give, with giving me more room and space to apply my uh, do my restorative procedures. As we can see here, I used one two clamp. As we can see. Uh, um, as we can remember, sorry, the 212 have double arch. Not easy to work in the another tooth. So if I have two T's to get, um, be, um, if I have two T's, I need to some space. So I will go for single arched clamp 44. So this clamp specially designed for veneers. If you want cement you want to cement a composite veneer or ceramic veneer so it is the most useful clamp you can use but in your mind this is clamp not used alone it need anchor clamp as we can see in these photos I depend mainly in uh, emolar clamp for and on an and upper right four and on upper left four then in this local area in two centrals I need to retract the two more and more so I applied these clamps 
locally to retract the sheet of the rubber dam and also retract the gingival. Also here, as you can see, I will cement Emacs crowns. I have finish line, which is subgingival. Okay, as we said that I need two anchors clamp. I started my isolation as a multiple isolation. I started from the canine and the canine. And now I need low. I um, I used locally retractor clamp in two centrals, 44 or B4. Here I used B4 so I can see my margin completely clear I can try in my crown Emacs crown and also cement my Emacs crown in a dry field 138 and 139 two clamps used mainly mainly for third molars as we can see this clamps serrated so to give you more better retention also as we can see the bow of the clamp inclined distally so here the application of the clamp I can see completely the tools so if I want to work with the rubber dam uh, sorry uh, if I want to work with my hand piece this clamp will give me more space and facilitate uh, working with a handpiece. Why? As it's, it's bow inclined distally away from my work. Uh, as we can see, we have 138, 139. Um, um, when I apply this clamp, always the wide jaw, the buckle side. Here, the wide jaw. The buckle side, the small jaw is the lingual side. So, in the right side, we will need uh, one clamp, in the left side, we will need another clamp. So, it always 138, 139, according to the case. Some cases of root canal treatment, I always depend mainly on uh, single tooth isolation, but actually, if I have bounded axis what is my what, is, what i mean um, with bounded axis when i have the four walls the four walls mesial and distal buckle and lingual uh, uh, intact so i can uh, uh, go for single tooth isolation but if i have missed walls i will go for multiple isolation to do b on the don't take the this is my personal prefer. I always do pre endodontic build up before any endodontic, uh, any endodontic treatment in my cases and on my clinic. Give me some comfortable, especially for irrigation. Give me some comfortable to have fixed and stable reference point during um, uh, measurement of uh, using X locator or, 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 or even X ray or uh, facilitate working lens determinations so as we, we mentioned if I have hair bounded cavity I will go for single tooth isolation any winged or even wingless amp for the molar okay for me but I have MOD cavity here okay I started with multiple isolation more than one tooth this multiple isolation can help me to build the two missing wall as a pre-endodontic build-up. Pre-endodontic build-up, as we mentioned, can help me and, and give me a stable reference point and also um, uh, help me in another visit or, uh, or help me to give stability to my uh, temporary uh, filling if I have no time to finish my RCT. Also, give me space, uh, give me um, the war for my irrigations. Excuse me, we have here. Um, this. We we have some accessories for rubber uh, rubber dam. 
Liquidam and Byte Block and Widget. Regarding Liquidam, Liquidam I used it is a resin material global M4 the injectables that you can use, especially if you have defect or leakage after rubber dam application. So we can see here I have a defect or leakage. So I applied my liquid dam to prevent this here. It block I used um, especially in, uh, in, in uh, long session. And the another side of my uh, of my patient mouse to help uh, the patient in opening of its mouse and to relax uh, the facial muscles. Widget in my clinic I don't use or I don't buy. This is a photo from internet. Uh, I actually uh, cut small piece of my uh, of excess rubber dam I have and used to fix the rubber dam sheet in the other side from the clamp. This is widget. It's the elastic cord used to fix the rubber dam here, but actually it depends on a small piece of the uh, my excess of the rubber dam. Here also the liquid dam. I have small leakage, especially um, uh, because I think that I punch a hole, uh, a large hole, so. I use a liquid dam to overcome my defect. Also, in some root canal treatment, I prefer to do extra seal. Extra seal by inject liquid dam around the clamp to prevent escape of the volume hypochloride to the patient mouse. Okay, let's see some clinical cases. Here's this patient uh, come to our clinic, planning from class two, as we can see in X-ray, class two, in the distal side of the upper four here. So my uh, dam, my uh, rubber dam isolation will be as the restorative density. I need to get a contact, so I will go for multiple isolation. Okay, multiple isolation. I will start from the upper six, so I can use winged clamp, wingless clamp without any fear. Why? Because uh, I am away from our cavity. Here our cavity and here our anchor tooth. Okay, I can see, I can use ambid one or I can, uh, sorry, I can use winged one or I can use wingless one. Okay, here I used wingless clamp. This is my cavity. I fix the rubber dam on the other side by floss by as we can see this is my cavity I have great space for matrix application and wedge and ring but here as we can see this is the last tooth in the arch so I will put my clamp in the six so I need wingless clamp here I need wingless clamp why give me some space for matrix application and wedge application and ring. Here, yes, I applied wingless clamp 26. 26 here give me great space and room for matrix application and wedge. As you can see here, my matrix system applied, and this is a final result. For the anterior teeth, for the anterior teeth, especially class 4, I will work on one one tooth right side or left side I will go for four four isolation I mentioned or I called it four four isolation started from the upper right four and the upper left four why this multiple isolation will give me a lot of space and will give me a lot of um, clear visibility for me and also will help me to apply my index rubber index our silicon index here, I started my isolation from the upper right four and the upper left four. I will work in the two anterior piece. This is my index. I can apply easily. As we know, this index must be sub 
supported by one tooth mesial and one tooth distal to the fracture. So the support will I will get from upper right uh, lateral and upper left lateral. If my isolation started from the canine, the two wings of the clam will prevent seating of this index. Take care of our at this point. Class five, here pre premolar case. As we mentioned, that I will go for two one two m. How when I use multiple isolation or single according to my cavity extension? If my cavity is just in buccal surface, I will go for single toes isolation. If my cavity slightly extended in the proximal side. So, um, easier or distal, I will go for multiple isolation. But, but in your mind, in class five, we have very important trick. If uh, sorry, retraction cord application. Yes, here I applied retraction cord, the impregnated one. Retraction cord will retract the gingiva, prevent the bleeding, so give me more accessibility and. Uh, visibility for my margin uh, so I can do my cavity preparation without any bleeding especially in inflamed gingiva then I, all, I uh, also can help me in uh, isolation here I used multiple isolation started from the lower right seven and locally in this tooth I used two one two clam two one two clam here I can see sometimes I have slightly leakage in some um, and in my isolation I applied small teflon to uh, seal this leakage this is after finishing another case in class 5 2 class 5 uh, upper right lateral upper right canine I will start here by punching, but I have also one trick in punching. I will move the whole of the teeth. I will work on slightly one millimeter buckle. As you can see here, this is my as my original uh, marks. But I moved the the marks of the two teeth. I will work on slightly one millimeter buckle. How I? give me some space and um, not to uh, overstretch my rubber dam so you will see the babilla from my uh, rubber dam isolation let's see the case here the traction cord i applied multiple isolation i will start from premolars for sure i will use premolar dam and extend my isolation to the another side of upper central so i will go for the lift Centrals here. Yes, I used two clamps 44 or B4 for anterior, as we mentioned before, locally to retract the rubber dam sheet and also the gingiva for more accessibility to the class 5 or the subgingival margin of the cavity. But actually, here I, good, I, I, I get good. Um, uh, isolation for the babella but here as we can see yes I have a mistake here what is the mistake in bunching we should increase the space between holes slightly modified our whole uh, space to prevent this um, prevent uh, this error here but actually I um, solve this uh, uh, solve this defect by using a wedge and teflon here I applied my matrix and also a wedge for good uh, um, adaptation of the matrix and also to back the villa under the rubber dam i finished my restoration easily some cases especially we remove crown 
Yes, this is the case. Prepared boost. Here I will go for W eight E S K one. Especially in these cases. Why? This preparation, if I used conventional or uh, winged M or what we call passive camp this is prepared walls but well this is the clamp will not be stable so i need clamp to get its retention from the most apical part i will go for at the smaller i will go for w8a here this is w8a single tooth isolation extra sealed using liquid dam prevent my ligand uh, to go through the cavity deep margin elevation and deep margin acquisition some cases in our clinic deep sub gingival class two cases with overhanged or, or overgross gingiva removing of this gingiva with different means, some dentists prefer to remove uh, using scalpel, another remove, uh, another dentist prefer to use uh, laser. Here I, I used uh, Serma Cut Bear to check that I already um, uh, get my margin. Rubber dam isolation, the most important trick here to use pitch retractor clamp in the adjacent tooth uh, then pre endodontic build up as i mentioned before that i be, uh, i prefer to do pre endodontic build up in cases uh, and, and root can rct cases another case as we can see this is overgross flame gingiva here as we can see Removing this is a therma cut pair I use with maximum speed without coolant just to remove the uh, over cross gingiva. Then I started to um, apply multiple isolation. But sometime in our case, the rubber dam sheet will be above the margin. We can't see the margin uh, of the cavity clearly, so I will use small piece of teflon this small piece of teflon i will be applied between the care i will be applied between sheet and the margin backing the apical side so it will retract the rubber dam sheet away from my margin so this is what we call marginal acquisition here i get uh, my margin i can see it completely clear so I can finish my margin another case is remaining root the same as class 5 slightly remove the overgrowth gingiva retraction cord applications in this case I will go for 212 clamp 212 clamp ASK very strong clamp say as the single tooth isolation but here I just pass the sheet for the adjacent to give me some stability. For prepare tools, I always prefer to use small clamp. Actually, here prepared molar, I will use the clamp of premolar. Prepared premolar, I will go for anterior clamps. Prepared anteriors, I will go for composite buttons. This is buttons small trick I used just adding a small drop of flowable composite in the buckle side and in the lingual side with bonding and curing to give the tools as a wings this wings I will give the retention of my clamp here I have uh, applied the clamps wings under uh, sorry apply uh, clamp uh, under the wings so I can easily isolate this piece or, the, or this tooth. Thanks for watching and it's my pleasure to be with you um, um, today.
we want to thank uh, Dr. Ahmed uh, Arfan and Advanced Dent to give me uh, this ideated chance.